So you might be in a position where for some reason your Wii remote is actually not connecting either to your Mac, PC, Android, to your actual Wii. Now this can happen for a few different reasons. The very first thing I'd recommend doing though is making your way over to the back of your Nintendo Wii remote and basically taking a look at the battery compartment. Now for a majority of Wiis out there, they probably do not have rechargeable batteries inside. Not like these rechargeable ones with the battery pack. They may actually end up having, you know, actual AA batteries inside of it. So the best thing you can do is to go ahead, take these batteries out of your specific Wii remote, go ahead and double check them. Now you can double check them by either replacing those batteries and putting new batteries in here, or going through and putting these specific batteries in another device that actually does take AA batteries. So in this case, if I have my Xbox One controller, all I have to do is go ahead and plug these in as I normally would. So I can go and plug this one in just like so, and this one in just like this, and I can go ahead and test it out. Now if this controller does turn on, that basically means that those batteries are good, but if this controller or the other device still doesn't turn on, that basically means that these batteries are dead, and you're going to have to replace them, or you know, kind of go from there. Now for some reason, that doesn't seem to be the problem. It looks like that seems to be, you know, the batteries seem to be working, but for some reason they're not working here. The next thing you want to do, is go ahead and double check these specific compartments. So make sure that the batteries in the back, like this specific component and this specific battery component, are not damaged. Make sure the prongs are still perfectly fine. If the controller is turning on but it's not connecting to your devices, that's a completely different story. But if your controller is not turning on at all, well those are the main things that you can probably do. Now on top of that, replace these batteries, make sure they're still functioning, or make sure they're functioning at all. Once they're connected, you can also try clicking this red button in the back right here too. That can also help reset this controller, and sometimes that's probably all you're going to have to do as well. Now chances are that might end up working for you if it's still not working. You may want to go ahead and double check the batteries, or your controller may be faulty, and you may want to make sure the controller is perfectly working. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.